morning guys, it's the Birdman. Today is July 4th, uh, it's Friday, and it is close to 8.30 now, it's 8.28. I let the birds out at 7.55, yeah, 7.55, uh, or at least that was what the clock in the loft said when I, uh, um, when I got them all out. Of course it took a minute to get them all out, but, uh, They've been flying for close to 35 minutes, 33 uh, 30, I guess, probably 34 by now, but anyways, this half shred grizzles wanting to land. Anyways, don't have a lot of camera battery left, I'm going to kind of keep, try and keep this one kind of shorter, so I'll keep y'all posted if anything happens though. Alright, so the birds have been flying for just about 45 minutes now, not quite. Uh, they're up to 41, I guess. Right? No. Uh, no, they have been flying for 40, but they're... It's 8.41, I let them out at 7.55, so yeah, they've been flying for 46 minutes. I'm going to try and keep them up for 4 more minutes and get them to 50. And if I don't, oh well. They were looking pretty tired, but they've gone up higher now. I'd like to get them to an hour if I can, but I don't want to push them too hard. Um, I'm not really worried about wearing them out because I'm going to give them the day off tomorrow. Tomorrow they're not going to fly at all. I'm just going to let them stay in the loft, give them plenty of food, uh, give them a bath, uh, just let them take it easy. So I'm not worried about wearing them out exactly. I just don't want them getting too tired and starting to try and land in the trees. Sorry, there's a plane going by. Anyways, where'd they go? There they are. So, I don't want them starting to try and land in the trees, so that's what I'm really worried about. I'm not really worried about wearing them out, because they're going to get the day off tomorrow. They don't know it, but they're getting a break tomorrow. See, that one just tried to... I don't know if y'all could see, because I had the camera zoomed in, but... One just tried to land in the tree, so... I'm going to go ahead and put them away, I think. Uh, before any of them do, uh, because once they start landing in the trees, that's really hard to reverse, um, and training will be a lot easier if I'm not worried about them landing in the trees. So, I'm going to go ahead and call them down. I'm going to just come in here and open the trap. Let me zoom out all the way. So, trap's open these guys out so they can start eating. Or one of the chickens screaming. Must be fighting in there. So, gonna get a dropper again. Don't really need them at this point. I'm just training the droppers. Where are they? Are they behind me? Sorry, I wasn't looking at my camera. And unfortunately, some landed on the house. Alright, I'm going to grab another dropper here. Charles will work just fine. Let me see these guys. Over here, got Charles. There's a couple still wanting to fly. 
I'm gonna go get my other dropper. I'm not really gonna need it, but I do kind of have to let it out of its crate so that it can uh, go eat. They're not very happy if you don't feed them. Come on. Alright, well fine, I'll toss you up. Ah. Let's go see how they're doing. Head on in. I've been feeding them a bit more so they've not been as hungry uh, because I'm trying to keep their weight up. Their weight had gotten, they had gotten a little bit thin while I was trap training them so I'm trying to get their weight back up. But I'm going to have to start feeding them a little bit less it looks like. Anyways, they'll all go in here in a minute. But uh, I did say I was going to keep making the end videos separate because I always wind up wanting to show y'all something. So I guess I'll do that. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. All I really did was push the button on and on, or off and back on. But uh, a couple more pigeons did go in. I've got two sitting on top of the loft. They'll be in in just a minute. Probably one of them is Charles. But thanks for watching guys. Hope y'all enjoy that. Um, the birds are getting a lot better. Hopefully they'll start. Hopefully uh, I'll give them a break tomorrow, which sounds kind of funny because you'd think Saturday would be the easiest day to fly them, and it probably would. But I'm gonna give them a break tomorrow. Fly them again Sunday. I'll hopefully get them up to a. Hopefully I'll get them up over an hour Sunday. Maybe I can get them up to an hour and ten minutes or something. And uh, hopefully they'll start routing soon. Once they start routing, I can start taking them on training tosses. Uh, I'll explain all that when the time comes though because this is supposed to be the end video and I keep on talking. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, go ahead and do that so you can keep up with the videos uh, as I continue to upload more as training goes on. Uh, hopefully we'll be in good shape come race season, uh, which will be uh, September 24th, I think. It's on a, it'll be on a Sunday trying to remember. Anyways, uh, not important at the moment. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.